morning friends today we are going to be making our egg carton uh, maracas if you have um, Easter eggs at home these work perfectly fine you can just um, decorate your Easter egg with stickers or paper or whatever you would like to decorate it with then fill it up with beans I have beans here pasta or rice and um, tape around where the Easter egg opens after you fill it just to make sure nothing spills out and then you can take two popsicle sticks and kind of make a V shape like this, where it connects at the bottom, but then these two edges are holding the middle of the Easter egg and tape around the top and tape around the bottom and you'll have perfect maracas that you can decorate and play with. If you don't have um, Easter eggs, this is an alternative. So you can take your, uh, you can take your egg carton, just cut off two pieces, just a straight line down the middle to have two pieces and then you fold it over after you fold it over um it might break here i'll cut this piece off i had already made one but i'll show you really quickly so you're gonna cut down the middle straight down the middle straight down the middle okay so you're gonna cut down the middle so you have two pieces after you get this you need to fold it over your egg carton and then you have to kind of poke the sides out and then at this point it might break in the back I don't know if you oh, I don't know if you guys can see that here let me make another one real quick for my last piece of egg carton you fold it down the middle and then it might break in the back just like that I don't know if you guys can see that but there's a big hole in the back, but that's okay if that happens because we're going to use tape to seal it up so nothing will leak through. So after you get to this stage, you're gonna pour your material in. And at this point, you might wanna have your kiddo hold the egg carton or pour it in while you hold it and then switch off because you're gonna have to use a lot of tape to seal this up. So I'm gonna use my beans and I'm just gonna pour it in. And you don't want too much, so I actually pour a little bit too much. You want about that much in your egg carton, just about halfway of that. And then you're going to fold it over and then you're gonna start with your tape. This is the part where you would probably need two people. So you're gonna take your tape and you're gonna start taping around the egg carton. And make sure you fill up that hole and you want to go around with the tape two or three times to make sure you get a nice seal keep going keep going I'm gonna go around about two times my tape gets stuck sometimes it's a little difficult to work with but you do want a thicker tape. You want like a duct tape or something of that, or um, like that clear tape that's kind of like stronger than regular cellophane tape or stronger than packaging tape. So you do want a stronger tape. If you have electrical tape, that also works because it's very strong, but you may have to go around a few more times than this because it's thinner and you want to make sure you cover that whole area. So after you tape this part, you should get something like this. You can hear the beans in there and you want to press it down and make sure there's no holes. And at, after you get to this stage, you're going to start um, with your popsicle sticks. You need two popsicle sticks and you're going to want to connect it like this. Once you have it like this, one on each side, you're going to tape those around the top. You're going to want to go around maybe two or three times as well just to get a really secure hold. So I'm going to get my tape going and then I'll start taping it that's easier for me to do. So I have my tape. I'm gonna take one popsicle stick first and I'm gonna hold it against the side and then I'm gonna tape it right down. And then I'm gonna go around and once I get to the opposite side, I'm gonna take my second popsicle stick, I'm gonna hold it down and pull the tape right around that. If your popsicle sticks do not touch at the bottom, that's totally okay because you also need to tape the bottom to make sure you get a nice 
secure seal on that and I'm just going to keep going around two or three times. I think I only did two times now, but you can go two or three times or as much times as it makes it takes for you to feel comfortable that nothing will spill out. Okay, and after you do this part, you're going to start to see your Morocco form. You're just going to want to take your popsicle sticks and push it together so that it joins at the bottom. And then you're going to take some more tape. You can have your um, kiddos at home hold the maracas together while you get the tape. And then you're going to tape the bottom together. Just going to want to go around maybe twice just to make sure that it's nice and sealed and that it won't break apart. Okay. And once you get to this part, you basically have your maracas. Let me just cut this off. And then I'm going to let you listen. There's your maracas. This one is made with beans. And the one I made before was rice. So there you have it. And after you get to this point, you can decorate if you would like. You can um, paint, use markers or glue paper onto it. Put stickers, anything you have at home that you would like to decorate with. And there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this activity and I hope you have lots of fun using your um, your own handmade maracas at home. All right. Bye bye.